the spirit of the Warriors of 2022. We came to Sharanda with our shield of protection provided by our parents and families, and with the lance of knowledge that shatters the barriers of ignorance and injustice. We come this day to lay down our shield of protection and lift high our own lances to venture forth and create our world based upon the knowledge of truth and break the hold of injustice. On Arrowhead Field, we gather in our council for one last time to bid farewell to our fellow warriors and our beloved Sharando High School. Would everyone stand for our processional?
Please be seated. Good evening, friends, family, teachers, and especially fellow graduates. My name is Emma Malinowski, and I am this year's senior class president. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the 29th commencement ceremony at Chirando High School. This school year was the first semi-normal school year that we have had since we were freshmen. Let that sink in for a second. These four years were definitely no high school musical, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Our four-year experience here was a unique one that we will continue to reflect on as we get older. We learned how to adapt to change, face new challenges, and we all grew as people. We, as a class, have pushed through and persevered in difficult times, and now, as I am standing in front of you all, would like to say that I am so proud of us. I am so proud that we are all here, ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives, whether that be the college, the military, a trade, or wherever else life may take you. After we walk across this stage and get that diploma we all worked so hard for, the next chapter of our lives begins. I wish you all the best for whatever the future may hold. Congratulations to the class of 2022. <laughs> Now would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, and then please remain standing for the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Please be seated. At this time, I would like to invite Connor Benter, Spencer Cotton, and Otto Daniel Lopez to the stage for a moment of remembrance. Otto Daniel, Spencer, and I, Connor, are here today to not only to remember, but to commemorate someone who now and always influences our lives in exceedingly positive ways. His name? Jacob Hess. Jacob was someone who we had formed a great friendship with starting in elementary school, but ending in middle school, where his Life came to an end far too early. Not a day goes by where we do not think about Jacob. Because to be frank, he was such an important part of how we have grown to be the people that we are today. I remember how in elementary school, we would build forts out of the rocks that lay on the ground and pretend to wage war on each other. The magic in these memories that we have with Jacob shall never leave us. Without Jacob, we perhaps may not have discovered our taste for music, for the arts, and without him, we may not have stayed together as a group. Without Jacob, I may not have even considered learning to play guitar as he did. It is because of Jacob that we found our greatest comforts and outlets in music and video games and in connecting with dear friends. Speaking of video games, I remember when we would playfully argue back in middle school about who was better at the game Destiny. He was always better. It is these lovely memories of him that keep us who were blessed by his friendship strong and thriving. He has always been and always will be a loving, kind soul. We are glad to have known him and we miss him now and always. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you to the three of you for preparing that special moment. My name is Grace Dudley, and this year I have had the honor to serve as the co-president for Student Council. These past four years have been filled with many unique obstacles and opportunities, but as Theodore Roosevelt once said, do what you can with what you have where you are. And I believe we have done just that. We have made the most out of everything we were given, and while we may have stumbled, we never ceased. Throughout these four years, we have not only learned material and content, we have created new friendships, learned more about ourselves, discovered what we are passionate about, and grown into the people we are today. Together, as a class of 360, we have made it to this moment. And today, as we gather together to close this chapter, I believe the beginning of our lives is just getting started. Now I am pleased to introduce tonight's special guests. From the executive staff, we have Dr. David Savine, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Jim Angelo, Assistant Superintendent for Instruction. Mr. Vernon Bach, Assistant Superintendent for Administration. From the Frederick County School Board, we have Mr. Brandon H. Monk, Chair in Back, Back Creek District. Mr. Bradley A. Comstock, Vice Chair, Opecan District. Mr. Michael A. Lake, Gainsborough District. 
Mr. Brian J. Hester, member at large. Mrs. Ellen G. White, Redbud District. Mr. Miles B. Adkins, Shawnee District. And from the Board of Supervisors, we have Judith McCann Slaughter, Stonewall Supervisor. Thank you all for being here tonight. Good evening, I'm Chris Hickey, the Assistant Principal at Sharando, and I'm going to share with you the legend of the cap and gown. The tradition of the cap and gown started in ancient Greece in a time when only the wealthy or determined attended school. One wise old teacher was approached by a nobleman who said, now that our sons and daughters have completed their schooling, you are instructed to present them at a great banquet to be held in their honor. Be sure they are appropriately dressed in their finest robes and jewels. On the day of the banquet, however, the teacher, much to the surprise and indignation of the nobleman, presented his students not in fine robes, but in simple sackcloth garments, such as those of a common workman, and each student carried a mortarboard. What is the meaning of this, cried the nobleman? Our sons and daughters were to be dressed in their finest garments. The wise teacher replied, but they are. They are dressed in the golden robe of knowledge, jeweled with the gems of thought, and from their eyes shines the light of understanding. Someone asked why they carried mortarboards. He replied, these young men and women are the masons of the future. Whether they build empires or cities or foundations of wisdom, they will be building on the firm foundation of knowledge. And to this day, all graduates wear a cap and gown proudly, symbolizing the value of education and the fact that they are the builders of the future and the future of all mankind. To honor our young people who are graduating today, the faculty and invited guests are not wearing their mortarboards. Graduates, we look to you with honor as the builders of the future for our great nation. Congratulations, class of 2022. Hello, friends, family, and attendees. My name is Lucy O'Neill, and I have had the honor of serving as student council co-president alongside Grace Dudley. As we look back at these past four years, the word perseverance has popped up a great deal. I'm not sure what perseverance means to you, but to me, it means to keep seeing the bright side of things, even through a pandemic. According to Ms. Rimfer, it means to keep going, just make something up when you forget your lines on stage. And lastly, perseverance means to keep shining your light when it feels like your candle has burnt out. Today, I would like to introduce to you two people who have shown outstanding perseverance and dedication. These two people are our 2022 class valedictorians, Joshua Call, and one of my closest friends, Juliana Duke. <laughs> Happy graduation. Good evening, graduates, parents, administrators, attendees, and faculty. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about mistakes. I know this might seem like an odd topic for a graduation speech, but I can relate to it on a personal level. This is because I make a lot of mistakes, probably thousands throughout my time at Sharando High School. Now, every one of us makes mistakes, and I was thinking there's no better time to share some of my high school mistakes than right now. All my soccer guys will know this, but diving face first for a skipping ball at a rainy soccer practice is not a good idea. I may or may not have ended up with six stitches and looked like I got lip fillers for the rest of the week. I won't go into details on how it happened, but I will say that it was not fun. Now that I think about it, drinking two Red Bulls before taking the SAT was probably another mistake. I could barely fill in the response bubbles because my hands were shaking from all that caffeine. And I will say, my hands are definitely not shaking that much right now as I give this speech. But I'll get to the point. I've made loads of mistakes throughout my life, and I'm sure every one of you have too. Mistakes aren't all that bad, though. Each mistake that we make changes us as a person. All we have to do is hope that this changes for the better. I mean, it seems easy enough to me. Well, unfortunately, it's not always that easy. 
Sometimes we grind through life striving to be the best and be on top just to realize what we were working towards requires more work and more mistakes. And it's quite easy to take this in a bad way and therefore lose motivation and ambition that we have to accomplish great things. But we must dig deep to see all the good in each mistake we make throughout our journey of life. Graduation marks the end of our childhood and the start of adulthood. I think we know what that means. More mistakes just waiting to happen. Who knows what we might screw up going into college. We might choose a major we hate. We might miss deadlines, fail assignments, arrive late to class. Now, we don't want to worry about this, but college will be full of mistakes. If I could suggest one thing to all my fellow graduates, it would be that you must not get caught up in the mistakes you make, and rather use them to your advantage. Without mistakes, we would lose countless opportunities to gain knowledge and experience. Now on the surface, mistakes might seem like such a bad thing, but like I said, they're an important part to our lives. Mistakes are a defining factor in who we are. They allow us to learn and grow, gaining experience with each mistake we make. Learning by making mistakes and not duplicating them is what life is all about. I know for sure that I will never again dive on the ground at a soccer practice and risk busting my lip open, nor will I drink Red Bulls before an important test. There's a lesson we can learn from every mistake that we make. Now I want to take the final moments of my speech to say thank you to all the people who made the high school journey possible for these amazing students here. Um, thank you to the parents who put up with all of our mistakes, because without you guys, we wouldn't be here today. I know for sure I would not be without my parents. Thank you to the teachers who taught us not only academic lessons, but life lessons that we will remember as we head out into the real world. Thank you to the staff members who put in so much effort to make this school the best it can be. Thank you to the custodians who cleaned up our mistakes in the form of messes. Finally, thank you to my fellow students for all the fun times and always having each other's backs. I could not pick a better people a group, uh, a group of people to graduate with. Regardless of how many mistakes each of us have made throughout our time in high school, I think the class of 2022 can agree on one thing. In the wise words of Drake, we started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. Good evening, graduates, parents, school administration, and faculty. I want to begin by saying that my online public speaking class did not adequately prepare me for a moment like this. This is much different than recording a speech from the comfort of my own bed. My name is Juliana Duke, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak this evening. There are three things I want each of us to think about today as we graduate. First, keep pushing forward. Running is a passion of mine, and I have realized that high school is very similar to a cross-country race. Every time you think you're almost done, there's another huge hill to go over. It is either below freezing or 90 degrees, especially in Mrs. McCannon's room. And there's always someone crying somewhere. But throughout it all, we continue to push forward. And today, we are finally crossing the finish line together. Second, focus on the good. I have to admit, high school did have its good times. We have made so many unforgettable memories together, whether watching Friday night football games or dancing our hearts away at homecoming. Now, we are looking forward to the next chapter in our lives. And to be honest, it can be quite scary. But then I stop and think about once I am away at college, I'll finally be able to shower at 2 a.m. without getting a text from my dad that says, Anna, go to bed. So instead of focusing on the gravity of what is next, I am choosing to focus on what is good. And as we move forward, I encourage all of you to see the good too. See the good in people, see the good in difficult situations, and most importantly, to see the good in yourself. Which leads me to my last point, know your worth. This is a lesson that I am still learning. When I was in fifth grade, I tested for the gifted and talented program and was denied. Then in my freshman year, I had someone say to me, maybe honors classes aren't for you. Don't ever let any other people's assessments, words, opinions deter you. Our failures and challenges are what teach us to persevere. And I hope that in the future, you won't let anyone stop you from achieving what you want and living to your full potential. Fellow graduates, I want you to reflect on who has motivated and supported you throughout your high school experience, whether that be a parent, friend, teacher, or coach. And since I have the stage, I would like to thank a few people. I think I speak for all of us when I say thank you to the teachers for dealing with our late night emails and terrible procrastination with assignments and due dates. And to Coach Roberts, Ilniki, and all my wonderful teammates for somehow getting me to states and track and 
never giving up on me when you caught me walking in the woods, which definitely didn't happen often. Um, I could not have done any of this without my amazing parents, who taught me how to appreciate everything and never forgot to ask, why are you going to a food line parking lot at midnight? And thank you to my friends who are always down to talk, play Uno, or ride around in the shopping cart with me in the food line parking lot. <laughs> the biggest thank you to my best friend Maggie, who has been my rock since second grade. I could not have asked for a better friend to go through life with, and I would not be up here today without you. And finally, thank you to my brother Sam, who is not currently here today because he is deployed with the Marines. He always kept me humble and showed me how truly awful some music could be. Class of 2022, remember to keep pushing forward, finding the good, and know your worth today and every day. I hope you all find happiness wherever your life may take you. I am so proud of everyone. And as my biggest role model, Elle Woods from Legally Blonde would say, we did it! Congratulations and thank you. Would Mr. Dinsmore and Miss Marshall please come to the stage? Mr. Dinsmore is NHS Teacher of the Year. Mr. Colin Dinsmore began his teaching career in 2015 at Sharando High School. He is also co-sponsor of the Student Council Association. He attended the University of Pittsburgh, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in History and Political Science, and then went on to earn a Master's of Arts in Teaching from Pitt. Mr. Dinsmore would like to take this opportunity to formally apologize for the shameless puns his students have had to endure, but he is not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> Mr. Dinsmore married his wife, Jenny, almost exactly a year ago today. You can find Mr. Dinsmore walking his dog, Charlie, hiking, grilling, watching baseball, or spending time with his family in Virginia and Pennsylvania when he is not teaching. Thank you so much, Mr. Dinsmore. <laughs> Miss Marshall is Sharando High School Teacher of the Year. Ms. Christ Crystal Marshall began her career in teaching 21 years ago at Sharando High School. She is a former warrior herself, having graduated from Sharando in 1996. She then went on to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree in French at Mary Baldwin University and a Master of Arts in French from George Mason University. In addition to teaching French, Ms. Marshall is the advisor to the French Club and the custodial adult for the GSA Club. She is also a co-sponsor for the Sharando class of 2024. Ms. Marshall would like to thank the colleagues and staff at Sharando High School, without whom she would have not been the teacher she is today. She feels privileged to have taught many graduating members of the class of 2022 and wishes you all the very best in what the future holds. Ms. Marshall has been married to her husband, Brandon, for 11 years, and her son, Bo, is a warrior of the class of 2024. When not teaching, Ms. Marshall enjoys cooking, reading, and spending time with her family. Thank you so much, Ms. Marshall. At this time, I would ask that Dr. David Savan, Superintendent of Schools, please come join me on stage. Also, I would like to call Ms. Kayla Gritton, 
Ms. Holly Rickard and Mr. Terrell Roberts to the stage. Standing before you this evening is three very special young folks. During their high school career, Kayla, Holly, and Terrell have accumulated over 6,000 days of perfect attendance. Quite an accomplishment. At this time, Dr. Savine will present Kayla, Holly, and Terrell a plaque and certificate for this outstanding achievement. Congratulations. And now I would like to invite Mr. Shepard to the stage to honor a special group of students. Good evening, students, parents, faculty, and invited guests. Graduation day is a special day for all of our graduates. Today represents the culmination of 13 years of hard work by these young men and women. Each and every one of our students deserves the attention and recognition that they're receiving today. This recognition is not only for their past accomplishments, but also for their bright, unwritten futures. Many of our students will leave Sharando High School today and go on to colleges and universities. Many of our students will learn a specific trade or skill and enter the workforce. But at this time, I would like to recognize those students who have accepted another calling. These students are willing to delay their own personal gratification in favor of service to others. They will protect our freedom, whether at home or abroad. These students have committed to joining America's armed forces, and they most definitely deserve special recognition. Will the following students please stand and remain standing when I call your name? Isaiah Holloway, United States Air Force. Yeah. Trevor Mealy, United States Air Force. Yeah. Chase Pierce, United States Air Force. Yeah. Benjamin Jensen, United States Air National Guard. Trevor Robinson Cornwell, United States Army National Guard. <laughs> Josias Thompson, United States Army National Guard. <laughs> Otto Daniel Lopez, United States Marines. <laughs> Sergio Pilar Navarez, United States Navy. As we reflect on the service that these eight young men will provide to our great nation, the words of President John F. Kennedy ring true when he said, guard zealously the right to serve in the armed forces, for without them there will be no other rights to guard. And so it is with great respect and gratitude that on behalf of the entire Warrior family, I thank you for your decision to serve others by choosing to enter America's armed forces. Thank you. Would members of the combined chorus please report to the risers? At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Strando High School combined chorus to sing, We Won't Stop Dreaming.
teachers have worked to help our graduates reach this milestone. I would like to thank all the members of the Strando High School faculty as well as our central office staff and faculty from our feeder schools for all they have done to help our students reach this milestone. I would also like to thank our parents and grandparents and guardians of our seniors for sharing such distinguished and, and talented group of young leaders with us. But there is a special group of educators that I would like to thank this, after, or this evening. This year we have 11 faculty members and staff retiring. Six of them helped open Strando High School 29 years ago. I would ask the following folks to please stand and remain standing until all the names are called. Mary Adams Leg, <laughs> Elaine Boyer, Terry Boyd, Tom Carney, Tom Grimm, Joe Knight, Kathy Canopa, Joe Longo, Robin Owens, Joan Remfer, and Tracy Sawyer. Now listen to this. Their educational careers spanned six decades and have accumulated for over 400 years of teaching experience. Folks, fellow warriors, please join me in congratulating these distinguished educators. Thank you. Seated before you this evening is a very distinguished group of young people and they have worked hard these last four years and have accomplished a lot. In a minute, I'm going to read to you a list of accomplishments, some individual and some are team accomplish accomplishments. However, I believe their greatest accomplishment cannot be found on a piece of paper, on a court or playing field, or on a college application. I made them a challenge on August 24th of 2021 when we first met, and I asked them to be leaders in our school, and they were exceptional leaders in our school. 
They represented our school and community and state in national competitions in FFA, FCC, FCCLA, DECA, FBI, FBLA, and uh, athletics. They competed in band and choral competitions and in drama. But most importantly, they served as role models for our underclassmen. I have often said that the school's reputation is built by the people that walk through the door each day, sometimes even on time, folks. Thank you for your dedication to Sarando High School. Now let's recognize our outstanding warriors. Would all the scholarship and award winners from our Senior Awards Program and Warrior Club Program please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, these young folks earned over $2.1 million in scholarships, grants, and awards. Additionally, this group of seniors earned 787 career and technical education certificates. You can be seated now, folks. I would like the 202 seniors that earned 847 letters in academics and athletics to please stand. Would our club and class officers and team captains please stand? Our seniors who provided services, services to others through our peer tutoring program. <laughs> Students who attended Mount Vista's Governor School. Students who attend, attended Laurel Ridge Community College and earned a two years associate's degree or certificate in general education. <laughs> Members of our Northwest District Championship teams and individual receiving district, regional, and state honors, please stand. Members of our award-winning band, choral, and drama departments. <laughs> Members who have received a Warrior Pride during their years at Sharando High School. <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating these fine accomplishments. <laughs> Ms. Karen McCoy, Assistant Principal, will present the Class of 2022. Chairman Monk, distinguished board members, Dr. Savan, Mr. Nelson, faculty, parents, and invited guests. Having met the requirements of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the school board of the County of Frederick, it gives me great pleasure to present to you for the purpose of awarding diplomas, the 29th class certified eligible to graduate from Sharando High School, the class of 2020. Joshua Thomas Call. Juliana Grace Duke. Thais Isabella Agard. Carson Reed Allegra. Angela Amaya Nicholas. Anthony Abisai Amaya Martinez. Brandon Lloyd Anderson. Lauren Ashley Anderton. Caleb Montgomery Andrews. Jennifer Mary Angel. Jose Jamie Ariano. 
Sarah Marielena Ariana Gonzalez. <laughs> Meredith Ainsley Baggett. Hunter Nicholas Bailey. Jillian Olivia Banks. Delaney Jean Bard. Hunter Roy Bogger. Margareta Rose Beagley. Connor Marie Bearden. Noah Alexander Benavides. Sierra Maria Benavides. Jacob Lance Benny. Jefferson Manuel Bermudez Chopin. Olivia Nicole Bettinson. Virani Nimesh Baguette. Connor Kevin Joseph Bentner. Brandon Allen Blair. Leah Faith Blevins. Madison Elizabeth Blevins. Michael Sutherland Bombardier. Haley Giselle Boyce. Matthew Jaden Boyd. <laughs> Annalyn Nicole Branham. Andrew Dean Bray. Darian Kenyell Bridgman. Nathan Charles Brooks. Casey James McCray Brown. Jeremiah Thomas Brown. Carly Page Brown. Wesley Dean Buchanan. Thomas Edward Buck. Madison Page Buell. Elise Nicole Bonacor. Jocelyn Marie Burr. Harrison Cruz Burrell. James Arthur Calhoun. Bridget Marie Campbell. Ella Margaret Campbell. Tyler Jacob Campbell. Ella Faith Carlson. Lisa Marie Hope Carpenter. Jacob Ryan Carter. Jasmine Marie Carter. Sarah Graham Carter. Brielle Elizabeth Catlett. Sarah Chari. Emma Page Chunta. Austin Jagger Citro. Caroline Brianne Clausen. Cindy Mariella Contreras. Caleb Matthew Cooper. Garrett Bradley Cooper. Victoria Catherine Corbett. Spencer Henry Cotton. Bryce Isaac Crawford. Cody David Crittenden. 
Brian Cruz Sanchez. Gabriella Marie Kapul Becky. Parker Steven Svetkovsky. Ryan Michael Danielson. Justin Jamal Dante. Mackenzie Lee Davey. Malachi Zephaniah Davis. Paul Frederick Dean. James Wyatt Deck. Nanka Diane. Fatima Margot Diaz Amaya. Emily Elizabeth Diebold. Delaney Grace Disk. Tori Page Dodrill. Avery Charles Dodson. Blake Allen Dodson. Alexis Haley Doden. Xavier Ali Duane Dolman. Allison Danielle Drescher. Grace Catherine Dudley. Alyssa Renee Eckstein. David Sales English. Caitlin Renee Ferris. Brandon Jose Fernandez Quiroz. Marcus James Feudy. Kira Ann Fio. Jalen Eduardo Figueroa. Chaz Dalton Fincham. Melanie Jade Fisher. Amadeo Flores Correa. Jessica Nicole Flores Celaya. Cindy Flores Covarrubias. Miguel Angel Flores Castaneda. Carson Jane Foltz. Carmen Riley Franklin. Willow Ann Franklin. <laughs> Cooper Briggs Freer. <laughs> Tyler Jacob Funk. Annabelle Lee Funkhauser. Yay! Alexis Gallegos. All right, all right. Bianca Nicole Garcia. Arlanda Karina Garcia Hernandez. Woo! Sage Courtney Garver. Woo! Trevor Michael Gates. Woo! Michael Robert Gauss. Woo! Kylie Aaron Gill. Jasmine Coralia Gonzalez. Hunter Randolph Gordon. Victoria Grace Gordon. Adam Timothy Grant. Grace Elena Green. Rebecca Inez Grigsby. Kayla Victoria Gritton. Tyler Gregory Grazita. Melissa Guerrero. 
Valentin Guerrero. Sophia Claire Guntang. Liliana Nicole Vasquez Guzman. Adam Michael Hall. Isabel Rose Hall. Aaron James Hammond. Kayla Marie Hammond. Elijah Lee Harmon. David Anthony Harris. Megan Elizabeth Harris. Cadence Martin Hartzell. Eric Anthony Henry Hatch. Alan Michael Henry. Ella Corinne Henry. Gilberto Emiliano Hernandez Gonzalez. Isaiah Cole Holloway. Elizabeth Christine Hoyt. Emma Caitlin Hunter. Ashraf Ibrahim. Jacob Allen Eddings. Mackenzie Nicole Ingracia. Julissa Iraheta Corvera. Oli Michael Iverson. Jocelyn Marie Jackson. Dylan Lawrence Jenks. Benjamin Michael Jensen. Kelsey Shea Johnson. Ajani Amaru Jones. Wendy Vanessa Oya Pineda. Ella Osborne Capsa. Kaden Rafe Kajabowski. Joshua David Kearns. Ibrahim Walid Ahmed Khalil. Krista Riley Kidwell. Evan Jinu Kim. Fabian Alexander Kimbrough. James Anthony Kirk. Ian Michael Lefevre. Shane Michael Lapsley.
Brianna Carolina LeBron Rivara. Justin Ryan Lee. Anthony Isaiah Lemus. Robert Allen Delbert Lesh. Eric Damon Lethko. Jonathan Dean Lightcap. Adriana Donnell Liller. Madeline Marie Long. Michael Lopez. Otto Daniel Lopez. Mikkel Adriana Laub. Caitlin Elizabeth Lucas. Avery Constance Lundy. Nicholas Andrew Luttrell. Jeremy Alexander Machado. Stephanie Nicole Machado. Emma Ann Malinowski. Charles Allen Malone. Nelson Ernesto Marroquin. Chelsea Eliana Martin. Ryan Blake Martin. <laughs> Josiah Mac Martinez. Okay, honey. Michelle Martinez Canseco. Honey. Elena Michelle McCary. <laughs> Tyler James McDonald. Nicholas Dewey McDowell. Yes, oh, Roxy Caroline McVeigh. Oh, Joseph Kenai Medina. Woo! Trevor Joseph Mealy. Ethan Bradley Miller. Lily Elizabeth Miller. Regan Brianne Minnie. Milord Munawu Moluwalisi. Grace Elizabeth Mooney. Ashley Renee Morgan. Lauren Page Moses. Benjamin Allen Muir. Tanner Jack Muller. Grant Jackson Mullins. Caitlin May Murrow. Cameron Tyler Myers. Kaylin Murphy O'Connor. <laughs> Lucy Jane O'Neill. Dalton Eugene Owens. Camden Reese Palmer. Tess Louise Palmer. Savannah Renee Pangle. Tatiana Isabella Para. Emily Jean Paserba. Annette Patricio Lopez. Haley Marie Patterson. Cameron Grace Patton. Hannah Grace Pimbleton. Ashley Brooke Penzik. 
Jordan Matthew Petrie. Chase Thomas Pierce. Sergio Alexander Pilar Nevarez. Daniel Elias Pineda. Sarah Cosette Poff. Jessica Emily Polio. <laughs> Bethany Hope Powers. <laughs> Tajay Mosiah Porcher. <laughs> Phineas James Pulelua. Emily Sarai Quintana Mendez. Natalie McKenzie Ryan Raines. Ella Grace Raymond. James Richard Reif. Madeline Taylor Remsburg. Holly Grace Rickard. Caden Marshall Ridge. Madeline Ann Ridings. Nathan Riemann Schneider. Taylor Lynn Riley. Crystal Alexandra Rivas Cerna. Jocelyn Rivera. Terrell Isaiah Roberts. Yeah. Hannah May Robertson. Logan Wade Robinson. Trevor Allen Robinson Cornwell. Yeah. Dylan Stephen Rodifer. Yeah. Gelvin Imar Rodriguez. Vanessa Jasmine Romero. Jennifer Sophia Rosal. Alexis Brianna Ross. Carson Elizabeth Rust. Donna Susan Samsel. Kevin Elias Sandoval Garcia. Parker David Sattler. Cameron Bailey Seville. Elizabeth Marie Sayan. Angelo Clark Scariot. Abby Nicole Shellhammer. Shane Michael Sholian. Jasmine Lee Sharp. Anna Claire Shields. Destiny Dawn Shiflet. Kirsten Marie Shimp. Brett McLean Shockey. Let's go, Shockey. Andrew William Shostick. Jessica Susan Shostick. Woo. Kayla Marie Simmons. Woo. Ronald James Simpson. Gurpavatar Singh. Matthew James Sloan. Isaiah Avery Smith. Ryan Donald Smith. Lindley Alice May Spangler. Cameron Reese Spiva. 
Benjamin Siler Stange. Troy Andrew Staples. Jacob Robert Steele. Chloe Madison Stogsdale. Anna Maria Strimple. Brenna Ashton Stringer. Natalie Grace Strong. Cameron Dean Sullivan. Catherine Lee Sumner. Zachary Scott Simons. Allison Evelyn Terran. Ashley Margaret Thomas. Austin Jordan Thomas. Caitlin Nicole Thomas. Emma Lene Thompson. Josias Canyon Thompson. Audrey Taylor Thorpe. Connor Patrick Tierney. Jamie Hamilton Tinsman. Jessica Torres Santiago. Maria Tienai Turner. Natalie Marie Tusing. Maggie Amity Hubert. Madison Elizabeth Van Zant. Lucas Tyler Varner. Ivan Gerald Vega. Pedro Antonio Villarreal Torres. <laughs> Phoenix Sage Bipperman. <laughs> Micaiah Destiny Walker. Oh, yes, girl. Look at the shoes. Sierra Nicole Walker. <laughs> Stella Elise Wallen. Cameron James Ward. Natalie Rain Ware. Christina Marie Warner. Tierra Alexis Washington. Madeline Blaine Watson. Connor William Waymeyer. James Alexander Webster. Jordan Daniel Welsh. Karina Lissette Wint. Gabriel Allen Whitaker. Carly Ann White. Matthew Neal White. Silas Andrew White. Shay Linbell Whittington. Amari Wayne Williams. Aiden Jediah Willis. Cora Lynn Wilson. Kelsey Marie Wink. Woo! Bailey Alexander Wanacott. Jonathan Isaiah Woodbury. Woo! Ivy Zung Yang. Woo Morgan Drew Zeis.
Would everyone please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, please remove your mortarboards as the Srando High School choir leads us in our alma mater. seated. To the Warriors of 2022, we came to this place called Sarando. You leave behind this evening another chapter in our history. As we leave, may we take with us the strength of the Massanutten and Blue Ridge Mountains that guard our beloved valley. The courage of the forests that have weathered the storms of time and tell of the history of our ancestors. Take with us the wisdom of the Shenandoah whose mighty waters give life to our valley and flow towards the oceans of the world. As we go our separate ways, may we soar high with the eagle as we search for our dreams. Peace and love to each of you, my beloved Sharando warriors. Graduates, please stand. To the class of 2022, with the power invested me, with, with the power invested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the school board of the County of Frederick, I declare you graduates of Sarando High School. Warriors, congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> 